I'm actually going to start with you, John. I mean, this was a role, and as soon as I started watching it, I thought this feels so perfect for you. And I, but I can watch a movie, and I can say that that role felt perfect for John Hamm. That can you notice that when reading a screenplay? Are you able to determine when a a role feels perfect for you that it lends itself to your skill set, or is that something that only kind of outside people can spot? I think it's a little bit of both. I think you can definitely feel it and it might feel right. And then when you see the movie, you think, oh no, it wasn't right at all. <laughs> uh, that, that I've, I've certainly had that experience, uh, although not very often, but it's, it's sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I think what, what Greg and I have worked together before and are, are very good friends in real life. Uh, and so we both knew going in exactly the movie that we wanted to make. And I knew exactly the character, the take on this particularly, and I hate this word, but iconic character. Uh, we knew that we weren't gonna, we were set up to fail if we were gonna try to do a Chevy Chase impression. So that's exactly what we didn't wanna do. And, and I knew having read the books when I was literally a, a, a teenager, uh, I, I had a pretty solid way into who I thought this guy was. And he's laconic and he's easygoing and nothing really troubles him and he never punches down. Um, so we had a lot of pretty good uh, touchstones to, to where this, this character could take us. And we knew that the, that the story was there because we knew that the books worked. So the, the, a lot of the things that are very difficult in, in coming up with a movie or, or a script or a structure or something were already there for us. And, and the rest, it was kind of just like, make make our decisions and then get out of the way yeah because greg i thought i'm so i'm interested in kind of like getting that tone right because i thought i mean you know when you make a film like this it's got to be quite funny but it has to be quite sort of cinematic and at times irreverent but you have to maintain that kind of narrative that matters with kind of high stakes is that quite a challenge when you're kind of putting pen to paper yeah it i mean i love detective movies so it was a genre when john came to me and and said he was interested in this i hadn't read the books i'd, I'd heard that they were great so i went off and read a bunch and i i love the tone of the books and the books have so much dialogue it makes adapting them an absolute pleasure because you can steal all this great stuff. It's already written for you. Um, but I, I, I thought this is the books walk a tight wire, um, a tightrope of, of, of being funny, irreverent, um, a little dark, but also telling a, a great whodunit, telling a real detective story. So I, I went back and looked at all of my favorite detective films, whether it's Maltese Falcon or uh, The Long Goodbye, or the Big Lebowski, and thought about the various approaches you could take, and 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 really looked to the character in the book to give me clues as to how to write it and and work with John. For instance, in the book, he gets things wrong. He's he's the smartest guy in the room, but he's not as smart as he thinks he is, and he does get things wrong. And I thought, well, this is helpful because who wants to watch John Hamm be right for a hundred percent of the time? <laughs> that would just be obnoxious. So so stuff like that really helped me figure out uh, the character and and yeah we have a great shorthand so um, it was I was I was very daunted by it because and I think you know people have failed to trying to get this redo this character there's 10 actors who have played Philip Marlowe the famous Raymond Chandler detective no one else has played Fletch and they've tried so it was intimidating but uh, it was also a super exciting challenge and I have to say this is one of the best experiences I've had making a movie. Hmm. I mean, I mean, obviously, it's a wonderful performance by by John, but it's also a great ensemble in this case, and it really feels like everyone you would have wanted to join the cast signed up. Was it one of those kind of instances where every missing piece just sort of was sorted, and there was lots of yays in the process when all the the yeses came in? Because there's some great kind of cameo performances in this. We, we kind of got yeah, everyone we got really lucky. Yeah, everyone we asked first pretty much said yes. And it yeah. was also kind of during pretty deep pandemic that we were trying to cast it, so everyone was sort of zooming and. It was very hard to get anybody in person, and and but but we got uh, we got a lot of yeses, which was which which felt very nice too. People really it felt like people were believing in what we were trying to do, and understood that obviously it wasn't going to be the most uh, comfortable uh, shoot. It was a relatively uh, condensed schedule, and 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 COVID protocols take twenty cents out of every dollar, and that's twenty cents you don't get to put on the screen. So. It's a it's a challenge. It was a challenge making making the movie just from a from a you know logistical standpoint, but the the creative part of it was was great. And you get people like Slatty and 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 Marsha Gay and 
Lorenza and Roy, we just, we, and Aiden, we got, we got lucky. We really got lucky. Everybody's schedules kind of Tetris into the right, exactly the right spot. I'm interviewing him in a minute. Can I call him Slatty or will he, will he mind that? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I said that you could. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today, guys. Best of luck with the release of the movie. Go Valencia. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.